Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking through my jewelry collection. So some of you may or may not know, but I just recently launched my first ever jewelry collection, Bad Princess. I kind of wanted to just start out with rings because I really wanted to focus on bringing high quality products and if I bring too many at a time or if I try to overwhelm myself with earrings, necklaces, bracelets, anklets, toe rings, everything all at once, I don't think I would have been able to focus and it just would have kind of sucked. <laughs> trying to do so many things all at once. Today I really wanted to share with you guys the rings that are in my collection. If you guys haven't already, make sure to check out my website www.badprincess.us which Blake says you don't have to include the www but it's weird to me if you don't so just include it. One of the latest pieces that I just recently got is this butterfly ring. This is our Kelly butterfly ring and I think it's so pretty. When I pick the names, I try to pick names that really suit the ring and that just really go with the style of the ring. And this one I named the Kelly because I always picture Kelly as like a Barbie, I don't know, like very pinkish, very um, girly. And this butterfly ring is that for me. It's a gorgeous butterfly made of four pear cut stones and four round center stones too in the center. So it's quite the piece. Right now we do have a semi-annual sale, so if you guys go check that out, you get these rings for a huge discount. I have been a bit obsessed with butterflies, and I feel like a lot of you guys have been too, so I did get this one in as well. I don't think I've actually posted this one, so I haven't named this one. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think this ring should be named. It's made of two gorgeous butterflies. Each butterfly has two more keystones and two round stones that just kind of add a little bit of shine to make it sparkle from every single angle and I actually adore it. I love how cute and dainty it is. The reason why I decided to start a jewelry boutique is that jewelry is something that I have always loved. If you guys have seen any of my other videos or the get ready with me that I did years ago which I look at that video now and I feel like that video is ancient but if you guys saw those videos my mom was always big on jewelry and so as little girls we were always being given these like little tiny gold rings and earrings and my mom would be so mad when we lost one but I was also five so whose fault is that really? <laughs> my memory is not the best but I worked at a jewelry store about three years ago. I worked with one of my good friends Emily. We just had so much fun playing around with the jewelry and we just loved it. Because of that though, I kind of have a little bit of an expertise in that area. This next piece is a round cut stone as the center stone. This one just reminds me of a flower. So I named this one Rose. See, it's elegant. It's very vintage. It kind of gives me that antique style. So if you guys are into that, this is definitely for you. But it's also just very versatile. The side stones are made up of marquee stones. If you guys want to see more in detailed pictures, you can definitely check out my website. I do have a lot on there. I try and do my best with the pictures to show everything. The thing with our rings is that they are sterling silver and so they won't turn your finger green, they won't rust, they won't tarnish, so they will last you a very long time if properly cared for. I do have one ring that I actually didn't keep in my collection. I actually sold the last one. That one was silver filled and it's a beautiful butterfly piece that I just couldn't get made in all silver just because of the complexity and I wanted it to be a one-size-fits-all so instead of having something that was silver plated and would tarnish I had something that was silver filled and so it's a little bit different there but I won't really get into that because this video is already long next is this beautiful pink stone crown I'm starting off with all of the new ones because I just love them they're so pretty okay so my camera overheated 
what else is new? I wanted to show you guys my packaging. So I have these super pretty rose gold poly mailers that have a nice thick layering of bubbles so that your package won't get damaged. When you open your package, you get one of these. Obviously it's like tied in a little bow, but it's honestly kind of a pain in the butt to tie. And then to untie it, just to show you guys, no thanks. They look so beautiful with my bad princess rings in there. My goal for these boxes was that since they're gorgeous, you want to keep them and you have your vanity and you just kind of want to display them. Not only do you have a beautiful place where your ring can sleep while you're not wearing it, but you also have something cute that looks really adorable in your vanity. I'm so happy that it's finally all kind of coming true and I want to thank every single person that has ever put an order from us. I really appreciate you guys and you have no idea how much it means to me, to Blake, and to my baby because we are all a part of that dream and we are Bad Princess. We are our company. So let's keep going with our tour of my collection before my camera overheats again. So this is the gorgeous Bella ring and it's a beautiful pink stone in the center. It is the cutest little tiara for your finger. This is perfect for a quinceanera. This is perfect for a birthday present. My mom loves these rings. She has been begging me to get her one um, in a tanzanite. I'm gonna have to make that happen to her but she absolutely loves these little crown rings and I do too. They are gorgeous. They're just so cute. They're so girly, so feminine. I do also also have the Mirena ring which we are almost all out of. My goal here at Bad Princess was to make everything as unique as possible. My vendor, um, they switch their products so often that I'm not always able to get the same ring that I did three months ago. To make just one ring is kind of silly. I have to make I have to buy at least a hundred um, for them to remake that ring and so Unfortunately, I know that you girls will love the future rings that I get, um, but sometimes when it's gone, it's gone. This is the Mirena ring, and this is the one that we are almost all sold out of, and I am so happy, I'm so excited that that's the case because when I first started this, the first month was very slow and we had one sale and it was for my good friend Yadi and I appreciate her so much because she was my first ever person to ever buy anything from me and after that it just kind of like was very slow. The C word happened and we were very unsure. I was feeling very down. My vendors had to close because they were located in California and so I literally felt like I had to give up. I felt like I had given up without thinking to myself, okay, I'm gonna give up. I just wasn't posting as much. I was, you know, allowing Mateo to be my excuse like, oh, well, I'm so busy with him and I just don't have time for Bad Princess and I'm so busy remaking my room and shoes and and I don't know I was just kind of pushing it to the side and it wasn't until Blake was like hey you know your Shopify store is still kind of running and we haven't really made enough sales to really even cover the Shopify cost he's like should we maybe turn it off and maybe you can start selling them on Etsy or on Mercari you know a place that doesn't charge a monthly fee that's when it hit me and I realized I'm like I have not been giving this anything close to my all. I have been just slacking. I've been allowing all of these excuses to get into my head and to make me feel like it's just not gonna work. When I realized that I was the one getting in my own way because People like me were still shopping. I'm shopping for all the way in London. So people are still shopping. It's me, nothing else but me. And so I decided to turn that around. I took some new product images. I took away the pressure and the excuses, all of that. And I just decided to go for it. I just decided to run with it and see, you know, if it fails, well, at least I definitely gave it my all. I can look at Blake and I can say, you know what, honey? Yes, this wasn't, this wasn't for us. Let's go ahead and switch over to something else. But because I did that, because I gave it my all and because we really worked hard, um, we turned around so fast. It's just been crazy because I, I can't believe it. Every single order that I get, I screenshot and I send them to Blake and I'm like, what? We got another order? And I seriously like scream every time and get so excited. I really want to get this video up, but I'm having a lot of technical issues. Um, so on this right hand now, I have my Gigi 
band. This is an eternity band, so that means that the stones just never stop. It sparkles from every single angle. And they are princess cut stones. And then we've got our Diana ring. This one has princess cut stones. And the reason I named it Diana was because it's just so princessy. And the princess cuts just kind of remind me of Princess Diana. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then our Amor Eterno. This is a beautiful ring. It's big and it's feminine and it's sparkly. And it's a heart cut stone, which was a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I actually love it. It has two round cut stones that adore it just on the side they just make it look so pretty it is gorgeous it's big but it's not too big some people it might be a little bit too big but for me not quite it's just the perfect size and really when is big too big that's what she said <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> this amor eterno ring was the first ring that i ever sold so I'm, I'm seeing if I can get this one with a different colored stone, um, maybe a little bit of blue, because I am loving color. So this is my actual wedding ring that um, Blake got for me, and I did have a band for it. I do have a band for it, but I kind of like how it looks just on its own. I think it's beautiful. This is our Jenny ring, so it is our Kelly ring, but with blue topaz stones, and I love the deep blue. It reminds me of the ocean. It's just gorgeous, and I am a sucker for pear cut stones, and so these rings are just some of my favorites. This one is our Jade ring. This one was one of my very first ones that I got along with these guys, but I only got a sample of them, so I didn't have that many. I thought to myself, well, I love emeralds too, and pear cuts, I think that's a great combination, so I'm sure lots of you guys will love it too um, our Ava ring is this exact setting but with a blue stone so I thought trying it with an emerald in the setting was gonna be adorable of course so on to our bands now we've got our Vanessa band our Lexi band and our Angelita band so this one I named Angelita because it's just so cute and dainty it's perfect for a ring uh, that if you've got a bigger stone it'll just kind of complement it it goes honestly adorable with any of our crown rings so anytime anyone orders the crown and the Angelita band together I package them together because it is just so beautiful and I feel like when you open that it just completes the whole look so this one is beautiful paired with something it also looks really pretty um you know as a stackable so you know the baby's breath how it kind of has those little tiny petals or i'm not sure what you call them that's what this band reminds me of and it's just so pretty it would look gorgeous as a band under your engagement ring too again if you've got maybe more of a princess cut or a round cut stone that would look really pretty as well and then our vanessa band is just gorgeous to wear on its own or with a another ring as well this one also looks really pretty with our crown rings since the stones are so close to each other i feel like they just sparkle so much more and they look so elegant and so classy this one is our Ava and that's the one that is like our jade ring but with a blue center stone it's absolutely gorgeous I am a sucker for blue stones for some reason this year I have no idea what it is next is my Sophia ring this is one of the first rings that I introduced to our line because I loved how it reminded me of my own wedding band it's a little bit bigger <clears throat> Blake. I just love halos. Where I can get sparkle, I'm gonna take it. Then I've also got these um, little like pinky rings. This is our baby P ring. This would fit a baby's finger, but I think since it's so thick, I don't think a baby, like I think it would kind of clash with the baby's knuckle. And so I don't know if that would kind of work very well, but these are perfect for a pinky ring on your right hand or even on your left hand. They are just so pretty and I love pinky rings. I, I've always wanted one. Kind of reminds me of like a Bulgar Bulgari 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 <laughs> I do have baby rings coming you guys I have two on my website well actually technically three on my website right now if you guys want to check those out they're under my mommy and me hopefully I can bring you guys some super cute baby rings because that is my ultimate goal is to be able to be your guys's jewelry dealer I do have some earrings that are gonna be coming soon I actually did have some but I sold out the last one i can't even believe that i can't believe that i'm sold out of like three rings already it's just very surreal and it's incredible i i can't even even th three weeks ago if you would have told me that i would be selling out of styles i would not believe you which is 
absolutely amazing so i can't thank you guys enough well that is it for this video you guys if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe for more and we'll see you guys in my next video bye who's the naked man giving you problems yes who's the naked man giving you problems <laughs>